Eric the actor, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Quickly, Eric, today. Uh, I mean, I don't want a whole long, drawn-out thing. Well, you, you're the one that had Steve call me back. Oh. I hung up. I, I didn't even know you were called in the first place. Steve, yeah. why did you call Eric back? I didn't tell you to call him. He, I called, I put him back up because I thought he had something interesting. He'd been on hold all morning. No, oh, I, 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 it wasn't coming from me, Eric. I wasn't looking for oh. him. But go ahead. Well, Johnny was... Johnny he, is your uh, agent. Yes. Right. He told me earlier that he had something big to tell me, but he said he could only do it on air. Oh. Do you have him? Gary, why would you call Eric back if you don't have Johnny? <laughs> Eric makes a point. Do you follow this, Robin, so far? Isn't this great? Uh, yeah, we're, we're at a standstill. Yeah. Eric was on the phone. I didn't know anything about it. Right. Gary right. makes the decision to put Eric back on. But Eric only wanted to be on because Johnny had something to tell him. But we're, they didn't, he doesn't get Johnny. To both of them back up. Johnny's not answering his phone. So then why didn't you just pick up the phone and tell Eric that you can't do it? Instead of wasting my time. Uh, Eric, he's not here. I, I got to go. I'm so sorry. Yeah, forgive me. That's the incompetence of my staff. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Later. Eric, the Bye. actor. Bye. I mean... Johnny Frado and Eric, the actor, are on. I, I have uh, kind of limited time here, but they, they, they've been calling for two days straight with some sort of big news that Johnny wants to tell Eric. Okay. All right, okay. Johnny, you're on. Tell Eric your news. Well, Howard, boy, I'm so, I'm so conflicted about telling him this because he's been such a prick. Yeah, didn't he but fire I, you? I will. Didn't he? Yeah, he fired me. Eric, you fired I don't Johnny. Know how it is. He keeps firing me, but listen to this. There are gentlemen at FXX, the new FX, you know, with the other X. Yeah. Uh, Jim Jeffries, Peter O'Fallon, and Paul Berdino, uh, Bernardo. <laughs> that um, these guys have hired Eric to do the TV show legit as a reoccurring role. Really? Eric, did you know this, or you're just learning this now? I'm just learning it right now. Wow. So, well, you sound excited. He actually <laughs> sounds the same no matter what is going on in his life. His range is zero. <laughs> Eric. But, but, Johnny, what? real quick. Uh, two things. Uh -oh. One, you need to apologize to Paul for flubbing his last name. I said Paul Bernard. I, you said Paul, Paul Bernardo. Oh, I'm Italian. I put those on everything. And then the other is, this is a job you were supposed to get for me last year. Our, our, oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Howard, I'm going to kill him. Wow. <laughs> this is a, it's a, it rock. Howard, it's a reoccurring role, a scripted show on Fox. Wow. So, FXX. And isn't it amazing so, that Eric just kind of, like, just literally just said two of the most negative things. Number one, you got a name wrong. Who cares? Number two... You were supposed to get this from me last year, so I'm not even excited about it. Right. Hey. Well, fucker, better get excited about it, because earlier I, I said to him, Eric, this big thing I have to do for you has got to be on the 2nd or the 3rd of December. He started arguing with me about that. He wants to argue about fucking 2nd or 3rd of December. I, I am an intern. I just figured out by listening to you guys, I don't get paid or anything. <laughs> Do you give the intern. I must be an intern all of a sudden. Eric, you don't Eric want to start up. When, when does Eric, oh, Johnny, calm down for one second. When does Eric start this job? December 2nd. And Eric doesn't want to? You tell him, Eric, what you, how you feel about that date. The problem is, <laughs> the second is following Thanksgiving. Right. Thanksgiving, the day before, all the way till a few days after, our nightmare travel day. 
Eric. Uh, well, it's nice Eric. Eric, it's for wait. me to get down there. This is unfucking believable what I'm hearing. I'm this is what you call going? a job, Eric. Yeah, it's called an inconvenience. With this. Yeah, but how am I going to be able? To Eric, that's get, not your employer's involved. You. That is not your employer's problem. Just get yourself there. If it means getting up earlier, you get up earlier. I mean, I've done everything I could do. I wish, I, I, I can't believe you don't sound happier. Well, this here's the thing. With, <laughs> I think Johnny was expecting like a Johnny. thank you. Yeah. Who's to say that there's actually any open plane flight with any open seat? Wow. We... Who's to now? say? The airline. Excited. Eric, this is and insane. They're, 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 we'll figure that out. That, that'll, I'm sure they're going to figure that out. Eric, oh, it's a reoccurring role. Eric, Did you explain to him how important yeah, that is? You're talking about a regular role on a series. Pe actors wait for this the entire life. Is he going to have a problem getting there every time and have a problem with whatever date yes. Johnny gives him? Yes. I, I hope not. Yeah, of course he is. Well, I'm not no. asking anybody to change a fucking date. That I am not going to do. Hey, Johnny, if I was you, I'd just put the job out there. If he can't get there, fuck it. That's it. That's it. This is fucking. Uh, why? I, I, you know, I just lost a lot of my steam earlier when we were talking about the interns, and I started going, "Holy shit, I fit in that category." Yeah. This is what this fucker got me doing. Eric, what do you Turn say to all of this? Intern. I mean, what is going on? Let me hear. Mm. Howard, you're the only guy I know. Let me talk to Eric for a second, Johnny. You're the only guy I know who finally gets his dream of a reoccurring role mm. on a series, and. You're right. f you're filled with like you're not happy. I can't even do it. I don't know how I'll get there. That's the I easy want to part. Poke holes in it, you know. The easy part is getting there. The hard part is getting apart. Yeah, really. You know, the people from this show yeah. can't be too happy to hear your reaction. And did you just say it took me a year to get it? Yes, Ugh. it did. This is how hard it was. It took a year. Why did it, it take a year, year Johnny? Thing. Explain it to him. Why did it take a year? Howard, because because they were trying to figure out a way to fit him in. Right. And these three guys had to come together. You know, this, uh, Jim Jeffries and Peter O'Fallon and Paul Bernard had to come together and go to FXX, you know, and talk them into this. This was not a little thing. It was a very, very big thing. There were probably serious meetings about this since this is a reoccurring role. So it wasn't easy to do. Here, here's another question into you, Johnny. <laughs> boy, oh is this, boy. Is this to try to make up for you calling me racist on I, I, Twitter? I, I, where are we going? I, I didn't call you a racist on Twitter, okay? I did not do that. Howard, change lives with me one day, okay? <laughs> yeah, no way. I want to be on America's Got Talent. You come deal with the Eric, deal with Willie, the 5-year-old, deal with the 11-year-old. Wow, I mean, I am dumbfounded. I was expecting Eric to, like, just go berserk over this news and go, oh, my God, my dream is coming true, and yet what I'm hearing is... I don't is think he really... I, Howard, I don't think he understands the, 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 the bigness of this. All right, well, guys, I got to go. I got to move on, but... Uh, I, this, yes, Eric? I, under, I understand it all. It's the timing that's the problem. Why, why? Why? What is the timing? What the fuck does that? What mean? else do you have to do, dude? I don't. I don't want to be stuck on an airplane oh where I can't move my damn arms because it's so damn packed. Well, fly on the so week. why don't you fly the week? So, so so fly there two weeks before Thanksgiving. Yeah, and and stay in a hotel. Get one of them fucking suitcases like they used to carry, like Charlie McCarthy around, in, and then put the motherfucker in there. And in those... yeah, dude, you want to be a, you want to be on on TV? What do you think? Do you think TV is going to change for you? How are you to a reoccurring role? We no, he knows I what don't it think is. He understands the money aspect of that. That's a that's and a regular I... dude. That's a paycheck. I under... Yes, I understand that. 
What kind of money are they talking, Johnny? Johnny, what kind of money are they talking? Johnny, what kind of money are they talking? Johnny, Johnny, listen to me, if you would. It's difficult to communicate with you. Uh, what kind of money are they talking? Well, you know what? I don't know exactly, but I, I can tell you this: I know that it's more than he did in plain sight. Wow! Every week, so plain sight was a pretty big check. Hmm. And plain sight wasn't reoccurring. Right. So, by being reoccurring, I think he's entitled to some uh, other things. Let's be honest: Eric should pay I mean, them for that. Thing for him. It's huge. Really. Huge! It's huge! It's his first step in the industry. Okay. Where you know what, Eric? This time I think I'm going to take the fuck. I think I'm going to take the ten percent, Howard. I really do. You should take the ten percent. You earned it. I think I think I'm going to take the fucking ten percent just because this fucker yelled at me. Do you have anything in writing from Eric? That, do you have anything in writing from Eric that you're his agent? No, because... not, nothing in writing. Nothing no. in writing. Mm-hmm. No, because I've been an intern. I just realized that listen to the beginning of the show. So why do you even do it? I mean, for this kind of, uh, you don't even get a thank you. I, 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 I feel like I have to do I feel like I owe you guys something. You, owe, you don't owe us Every anything. Now and then, the, the, you have to do hard. Well, no, because, you know, being around the show has helped me a lot, too. Well, so anyway. I anytime I can give back, I give back. But there's got to be somebody easier over there. You know what I mean? That I can give back to. This guy's too fucking tough. I know. Talk about a uh, anticlimactic uh, announcement. Oh, really? Yeah. Do, do, do you feel like we just said something that was great? No. Uh, Eric, are you Eric's turning... There's not an actor in the world that wouldn't be jumping up and down. They'd be Marianne from Brooklyn. Eric, are, are you... Eric, are you turning down the role? No. What... You're just not going to go. Well, you got to go. You realize as a grown man, you have to take responsibility and get yourself to your job. That's that's true for all of us. I know. And the other thing is, also, prior to finding us out, I, I can kind of committed to watching my brother dog oh. while they're in Disneyland, and they won't be... Oh. Back right. uh, Eric, Don't you're full of crap. The bring the dog here. I'll take care of the dog. Okay? You don't have to worry about the dog. I'll treat him just like I would treat you. <laughs> great. Stay away. All right. Well, uh, Eric, Eric's full me... of crap. He says he wants to be an actor, but he really doesn't. Uh, Johnny, just want to check out something. Uh, no, homose yes, I do. no homosexuality involved, right? No. All right. Nope. Nope straight part that he gets to he actually gets to play a person who's much like himself like they said a kind nice person I thought, I'm thinking boy I'm gonna, somebody needs to rewrite that shit <laughs> but um with the, whatever his affliction is right. they want the character to have the same affliction that Eric has right he has to grow a beard I think right that's oh. it uh oh there's uh -oh. another objection <laughs> <laughs> Is there any problems with that, Eric? Could you do that? I'm not sure if I could grow a beard from now till then. I'm positive there's some people at the Stern Show that will I, shave their pubes and we'll figure oh, out hell. how to make a beard for you. Hell no, I'm not doing that. You won't wear a, a pubic beard? Uh, <laughs> no. All right, well, look, I, mean, I, I, I don't want to go through I this. shaved... All right. Uh, I just shaved last night. Is there any night, part of this so. that makes you happy? Any little part? You mean you shaved last night, Eric, and, and how long does it take for a beard to come in? We're not, we're, you know, you got a whole month. Wow, a whole month. Well, he said December. Couple of weeks. Yeah, it'll, it'll, yeah, a week. Howard. It's like three weeks. Well, about two. Then you're Howard, in good shape. You get me on the phone. He calls the five-year-old and talks to the five-year-old about Skylanders. All right, look, I got to go. I don't. Guys, Eric, good luck with your role. If you take it, if you don't take it, it sounds to me like it's not going to happen. Johnny, if I was you, I'd bow out of yeah. this thing. You gave him the job, and that's it. 
let him handle it. You gave him the job, Howard. You gave him the job. Yeah. That, that's 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 where they found Eric, and that's what they're interested in. Everybody's interested mm, I in mean, getting in your getting if somebody year gave me a reoccurring role right now, starting day one, I start growing my beard. I get my ass to. You find out what the airline are flights are. Eric? Where are they shooting, uh, Joe? Yes. They're shooting it right in L.A. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Over at Fox Studios. Wow. So it's uh, this show has got they got Carrie Fisher, they got Tom Arnold, they got Bob Saget, they got John Rett, where you guy from Cheers. Wow. They got George Linda Zinzi and whatever the fuck his name is, the guy with Double O Seven guy. I mean, it's a big, it's a big budget, it's a big show. Eric's not sure if he wants to come up there with all that truck. Oh, brother. I'm trying to, trying to say something. Let him say something. The, the other thing that I have to do every time I travel is contact my oxygen company to get the oxygen machine at the hotel. Oh, that'll be Isn't it great you've got three yeah. weeks to do that? Yeah, Eric, you know what your problem is? Two you problems. T- you make everyone your problem. Everything is everyone else's problem. Make your problems your own. You know what you have to do. Now get to work. All right, right, listen, do what you want. Filled with oxygen, I swear. You probably wouldn't be that good in the role anyway, honestly. So forget it. Just tell him forget it, Johnny. He's never going to make it there. He's got to watch a dog. And he's afraid of the traffic. Way to go, John. You put in a whole year on this. A year. A year. And this was, this was the complaint for a whole year, and it gets done, right? I'm thinking he's going to go crazy. What am I thinking? Now I have to wait a year for you to get through that list that I sent you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, he's an amazing kid for yeah. somebody who's not paying a person. Yeah. He's got nothing but demands, and he's upset with the way the job is getting yeah, done. What is the list, uh, Johnny? Oh, Howard, it's motor homes, money, <laughs> shoes, everything. Uh, oh, by the way, a chartered plane to your to your birthday party. He wants you to get that. <laughs> he wants me to charter a plane to oh, your birthday man. party. Wow. I well, told him we're not even invited to the fucking birthday party. Exactly. He wants to fucking charter the plane now, just in <laughs> case. All right, Johnny. Well, you certainly have a, a tough life with uh, Eric, and I don't know what's going to happen. We look forward to uh, getting an update. Uh, That's Eric. why I like that you went back to AGP, Howard. I love the idea that you went back. Or I, I'm going to make you change places with me. And you know what it is? Uh, so years. many people uh, don't appreciate work. Eric's I mean, one of them, apparently. I mean, let's face it. Eric really has no acting chops. The fact that they gave him this job is as a result of his appearances on here. And now he's going to yeah, throw it all away. What? I have acting ability. I've been acting for 11 years plus on this damn show. Yet. Eric, you know you're not that good. Look, You're not that good at uh, acting. Let's be honest. I got you the drunk is on a, and is almost going to commit suicide. Is there a everybody, because of my acting, everybody has a complete wrong perception of me. I don't think so. No. What, what do they think you're a prick? Have them call me. I'll tell them. All right. I'll tell them. Just have them give me a... All right, guys. I'm, I'm, this is growing tedious. I have to go. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Do you want to talk to Underdog Lady? Thank, She's even thank, annoyed with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, Howard. It's not. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank All right. I had enough. Ugh. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Imagine a reoccurring role on a, t- a TV series. Yeah. And he's turning it down. Well, he says he's not, but I don't know. But he has so many, uh, I have this problem and I have that problem. Yeah. It's never going to work out.